morning and welcome back to another flight attendant video. My name is Maddie and I'm a Washington DC based flight attendant who enjoys balancing a wellness and fitness lifestyle with my flight attendant job. This morning it is Monday, November 13th. It's just about 6 a.m. now. It's actually not the crack of dawn for once when I'm getting ready to leave for work. It's a decent hour. So this morning I actually had some time to make breakfast. So I'm cooking up some breakfast now. We do have a three day trip today. This morning, of course, we have our little drive over to DC. I'm expecting a little bit of traffic this morning, so I'm leaving extra early because our report time's like nine something. So we're going to fly from DC to Phoenix, Phoenix to Austin, and we have a long Austin layover, which I love Austin. Anyways, right now I'll show you what I'm cooking up. I'm doing a little egg scramble with sweet potatoes, asparagus, onion, that's chicken, breakfast sausage, a couple of eggs, egg whites, and a piece of sourdough bread, and I have my coffee already ready to go this morning. So I've made it into the employee lot. It's 8.14 in the morning now. My sign-in's not till 9.45, no, 9.35. So I'm gonna sit in the car till around nine. I got here nice and early just as I planned. I wanted to avoid sitting in traffic as much as possible on the drive up because that can make the drive like two hours, two and a half hours. So if I can avoid it just by leaving early, I will. And I'll just sit and hang out in my car, finish up my coffee. Today is the first day I'm wearing a jacket to work. It was freezing this morning. My car was covered in frost. So I think jacket season is officially here. Today we have a layover in Austin, so I won't need it there, but tomorrow we're going to Omaha and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cold in Omaha. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, hang out, play on my phone and head inside shortly. I was calling to see if I could request a fridge for my room, please. I had a call downstairs because I don't have a mini fridge and I have three days worth of meal prep with me. But they're bringing one to the room. Here we are. If you can't tell by how I look right now, it's been quite a long day. Today was like an 11 hour day plus the drive, but overall, such a good day. I enjoyed the crew. I enjoyed the passengers. Everything went as planned. Uh, I just want to shout out my crew member, Jill, for a moment real quick. I'm going to link her or like I'm just gonna write her website down here and leave a link in the description box but she makes these handmade pieces of jewelry I got some rings from her today they're all so super cute that one's like a little sun butterfly and this pink rectangle so cute but she actually does like stamping um I can't explain it the way that she does but basically she uses old beautiful silverware and she will shape them and stamp them and they're all very unique and she'll create all sorts of different beautiful pieces. It's a super cool thing that she started during COVID when she was furloughed and has stuck to it since then. And I would love if you just checked out her website if you're interested, if you want some homemade pieces of jewelry and to support someone's small business. So thank you, Jill, for the beautiful pieces today. The mini fridge has been obtained. Figured now would be a good time to go ahead and show you what I packed for this flight attendant trip. I'm just gonna sit here on the floor and load up the fridge and show you as I go. So for dinners, I did three of um, this type of meal prep. It's a vegan chickpea green curry. It's a new recipe that I'm trying out off TikTok. So I have one heated up already over there and then these two for the next two nights. So I'll show you that once I sit down to eat and I'll let you know what I think of it. But I actually got some non bread to go along with this. For lunches, I've just been having turkey wraps. So I just have turkey lunch meat. I don't have any cheese, but that's okay. I've just been doing it with some of the spicy hummus, which I also have some gluten-free pretzels that I've been using with this, but I'll put it on the wrap. I have some spring mix in here and then I'll do the turkey. So that's what I've been having for lunches. For little snacks, I just have these like cheese protein snacks. For breakfast, I have my mush overnight oats with the best ingredients and they taste so good. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I love mush. So three of those. Here I just have a bunch of cuties, little oranges, and then just for snacks on the 
top of my lunchbox, I just have this gluten-free pretzels, the naan bread, and then a few different types of vegan protein bars. So I literally had to shower before I sat down and ate. Like, I just hate the feeling of airplane ick on my body and on my face. So I am super starving now. I was so hungry in the shower, but now I can at least eat in peace. Like, I didn't want to put on my pajamas, you know, before I showered because I thought that would be gross and I didn't want to eat in my uniform because then I feel like I'm not eating in peace. And yeah, so I just kept my food warm in my hot logic. Okay, there's what it looks like. All right, let's give this a try with the bread. Mmm. It's super good and refreshing and I feel like it's gonna be filling because of the chickpeas. I'm going to turn off the camera, put on some YouTube, and take a breather for myself for the first time today, all day. Good morning. It's like 10 till eight in the morning here in Austin. I'm just getting ready to walk down to the lake because I'm going to go for a run down there. It's like, it's like 60 degrees outside. So here's what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing biker shorts with the little pockets off Amazon. I have on a little crop tank also from Amazon. And um, this jacket is like one of those Lulu dupes, <laughs> also from Amazon. My hat. I got in Georgia. It's an Amica Lola Falls hat. Yeah, I'll probably take the jacket off as I'm running, but just to walk down there and for the walk back afterwards, I figured I might need it and I'll just tie it around my waist. Um, I'm going to wear my Asics running shoes as usual. I'm just going to have my overnight oats real quick and then I'm going to chug down some pre workout. because I get to run new trails or trails that I don't run often and it's just it's more inspiring to me it's something new to look at and I feel like it makes the run easier for me but I'm just sitting for a minute I'm out of breath I'm gonna stretch and then I'm going to see if I can find a coffee maybe definitely going to get my favorite acai bowl though My hotel room. I picked up some treats for my post run reward. I stopped at a coffee shop called Alfred. It's in a little hotel that is really close to the lake where I ran today and I got a matcha chaga is what it was called. It's like a matcha, ceremonial grade matcha latte with functional mushroom blend. So that sounded like it was right up my alley so I picked that up. Super good. It was like $8 though. Then I went to get my favorite acai bowl, which is from Juice Land. It's beautiful. I'm going to have that and my matcha and watch some YouTube. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Hello, so I most certainly look crazy right now, but I basically just finished getting ready, doing my makeup and blow drying my hair, have my bangs curling right now. My van time is in like, 30 minutes or so. 
so I'm just gonna hang out for a few minutes and relax, drink coffee. I did close my eyes for about 30 minutes after I ate my acai bowl and showered and everything. Just felt like I needed a little bit of rest before I go into this day of work. It is semi a long day. It's about a nine hour duty day. We're flying from Austin to Charlotte and then we'll sit in Charlotte for a good couple hours and then we're gonna go from Charlotte to Omaha, Nebraska where we'll have a 14, 15 hour layover or so this evening. So not the longest day, but also not the shortest. So I just got a little bit of extra rest before starting to get ready for work. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out, drink some coffee and then we'll put the uniform on and head out the door. It's 11.16 p.m., whatever time zone we're in. <laughs> the flights were good. Today was a great day overall. I'm very tired. I'm excited to get in the shower and get into this bed over here. Um, I already ate my dinner, heated up in the Hot Logic before service on the last flight, and then ate it before landing. So all we have to do is shower and get ready for bed now. So tomorrow is our go home day. It's our easy day. We just have one flight back to Charlotte, I believe, and then Charlotte to DC. I think it's only like a six hour day in some minutes. So all of the hard work's already out of the way. The rest of the trip is smooth sailing. Tomorrow's go home day, all good. So our band time not till 1 p.m. tomorrow. It is pretty late right now, but I'm gonna go right to sleep basically. So I'll be able to wake up in the morning and go to the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and settle in and shower and relax. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. More like good afternoon. It's almost my van time. My van time's in five minutes. So it's almost 1 p.m. But as you saw, I had a nice workout this morning and yeah, just kind of filmed it montage style, but um, I'm kind of running out the door because I still need to grab ice for my lunch box. So yeah, I don't know how I always feel like I have all the time in the world and I sit around too long and then I'm rushing out the door. But anyways, Go home day, two legs. First one's over to Charlotte, then we'll go to Austin, no sit time. Oh wait, that was all wrong. We're gonna go to Charlotte, then we're going home to DC. No sit time, so that's good. Um, about a six hour day, hopefully all goes smoothly and we'll be in DC around 8 p.m. See ya there. Good morning. As you can tell, I am back home from my three day trip. Um, I just woke up, it's the next morning. Where's my hairbrush? 
Uh, yesterday was a really great day. Very easy, very short. Um, there wasn't a lot of time to really get any footage because we flew to Charlotte and then we like didn't really have any set time at all before we boarded up the flight to go back to DC, which was great because we just wanted to get home, obviously. So all went as planned. We got some cute gifts from passengers yesterday. It's kind of that time of year where passengers start bringing little extra gifts for us, which is always appreciated and super sweet, obviously. But anyways, today I am going to take it easy at home because actually tonight I picked up an ODAN, which stands for on duty all night. So I'm flying to Boston like at 10 p.m. Flying to Boston and get there, I don't know, some change after 10 p.m. Like probably get there at like 11.30, 12 something like that after we get to boston we have like six hours on the ground so technically they have to give us a hotel because it's longer than four hours on the ground so we go to a hotel really close to the airport and then we stay and then i think we fly back i don't know five six a.m in the morning we get back to dc at like 7 30 a.m friday morning and because our rest time isn't long enough to be technically considered a real rest time which would have to be like 10 hours um we're technically on duty that on entire time that's why it's called odan all on oh my god i can't talk so that's why it's called an odan on duty all night so i'm doing that tonight so obviously that is not my normal sleep schedule so we are doing things a little differently than i normally would today i'm taking it very easy at home i slept in a lot today i'll probably only be up for a few hours doing things before i get back in bed and try to take a nap before work so i just want to rest all day because i've been flying then i'm going to fly it overnight and then I have a busy weekend so I don't know I think I'm gonna do like some Pilates downstairs I don't really feel like going to the gym I don't feel like running today I don't want to exert myself like that so anyways I'm gonna put some of the Miel hair oil in my hair and let it sit while I do my Pilates and make breakfast because I want to wash my hair today I guess do I yeah I've been loving oiling my hair I've only done it like couple times since getting this hair oil but I swear I already feel a difference in like how my hair feels on a day-to-day -day basis like just so soft manageable I love it so this is like a rosemary mint scalp oil it's supposed to be good for strengthening and hair growth I have very fine hair so yeah in that aspect I would love some new growth I like to put it around like my hairline because when I pull my hair back, that's when I feel like you can really tell how fine it is. Oh, great. I'm sure that's great for the skin. Then I like to take a little scalp scrubber and just like massage the oil in. Now once that's all massaged in, on the ends, I do a different oil. I just do this OGX coconut oil spray on the ends, which is really like softening and hydrating. And then I'll secure it back in like a slick back pony and go about my day for a few hours and then shampoo and condition it out. Definitely double shampoo if you are hair oiling, but so far I definitely recommend this. I just finished my Pilates. I just did a 30 minute intermediate session with Move with Nicole on YouTube. I highly recommend her. I had some peppermint essential oil going in the diffuser to kind of lift the energy in the room now i'm just making some breakfast same thing i made the other day it's just yeah a bunch of veggies sweet potato onion asparagus little chicken sausage sourdough egg whites yeah as for my trip tonight i think i have everything i need food wise yeah i'm looking at my fridge i have one more of the vegan coconut green curry whatever it's called with chickpeas I have another mush in here. Yeah, I don't really need much. I have some fruit, so should be set food-wise for tonight. I have a uniform ready upstairs that I prepared before this last trip, so everything's basically set to go. So I don't really have much more to do today. I think I'm just gonna hang out and edit my video. Like I said, take a nap before work. Just take it very easy. Thinking about taking a bath. We might do that. Let's say hi to the kitty. Hi, buddy. Mm. 
I got his collar at Five Below. It has a little reindeer on it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's my boy. Good evening. It is 8.18 p.m. Thursday night and I'm about to head in for my Odan trip over to Boston and then I'll be back in the morning very early but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog now. Sorry that the end of it was a little bit choppy between ending my trip yesterday, a little bit of today, and now this evening um, but I figured I would go ahead and wrap things up. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had a great time filming it. I had a wonderful trip. It felt like just such a healthy hot girl trip and that's exactly what I love and go for on my layovers that just fuels me mentally and physically so I hope you enjoyed it found some inspiration from it for, for your own trips if you're a flight attendant or just your daily life in general I can't wait to vlog again soon thank you so much to everyone who's new on this channel I am so close to 100 subscribers I know that doesn't sound like a lot to some of you but to me that means so much I just started putting videos up on this channel like a month ago and I would say maybe last week I only only had 20 something subscribers so to have jumped that much with my last most recent video post that's just so exciting to me so thank you so much for everyone who's new here who subscribed make sure you leave a like and a comment I love hearing from y'all it's been making me so happy to see some comments on my videos and people telling me they got their CJOs and they're looking forward to having like hot girl little healthy layovers that just makes me so happy inside so I hope y'all enjoyed again leave a like comment subscribe my name is Maddie and I will see you in the next one bye